Fato. Our physicians at ringside, Dr. John George and Dr. Jerome Williams. Timekeeper at the bell is Sandy Atkins. Keeping count of the knockdowns, Richard Stewart. Now I introduce to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dana DePaulo. From Mineral Ridge, Ohio, Tom Miller. And from Youngstown, Ohio, Phil Rogers. And now introducing to you our third man to the ring, the referee in charge, working in this his ninth world title bout, Ernie Sharif. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Cleveland, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, the challenger. On my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green trunks with red trim, fighting out of Scottsdale, Arizona, by way of Vitebsk, Belarus. He weighed in at 238 and one half pounds. His record stands at 22 wins, one defeat, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his first appearance in a world title bout, ranked the WBO number 13 heavyweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger known as the White Wolf, introducing Sergei. opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing camouflage trunks, fighting out of Vero Beach, Florida, by way of Indianapolis, Indiana. He weighed in at 232 pounds, his record 33 wins, two losses, with 29 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making the fourth defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the defending WBO Heavyweight Champion of the World, introducing Relentless Lamar. Once again, our third man of the ring, Ernie Sharif, now to give instructions. Let's go. All right, fellas, you received your instructions in the dressing room. Do you have any questions? I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. You understand? Shake hands. Shake hands and come out fighting. All right. On this final full weekend, if you missed the scores from Indianapolis, Florida beat George Mason, 73-58. The magical run for George Mason ends, and UCLA over LSU, 59-45. So it'll be Florida versus UCLA for the national championship on CBS Monday Night Live at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Lehman Brewster's new guru, Buddy McGirt, says Brewster doesn't know how good he really is. Well, that's exactly why we're here to find out just how good Lehman Brewster really is. Although even an emphatic statement like performance has to be put into context, considering Sergei Lohovic is a fringe contender. Lohovic has pretty good skills, decent power, but sometimes comes straight in without movement, fights in spurts, lacks fire. So we wonder, Al, if he's made to order for Brewster, or Craig, is he a white me. wolf in sheep's clothing? <laughs> well, you know, he's very much like the, the men that uh, Brewster has been fighting in the last four fights. Just now, Lahovic threw a right Craig, hand, a lead right me. hand to the body. Pay attention to that. That is a key in this bout. If he keeps throwing that punch, Lehman Brewster could very well counter him and hurt him. Brewster. And, and already he's done it once. Brewster, though, not starting off, living up to his nickname as a relentless attacker at the bell. He has 14 first-round knockouts out of 29. We've also seen him start deliberately and stay outside, even get rocked early on. 
There's a feeling the predominantly boxing style of Mahovic will eventually frustrate Brewster, but there's Brewster going at it. An excellent right hand by Lehman Brewster, and Buddy McGirt and Brewster told us they think the Brewster right hand uh, is much better than it's ever been. Beautiful jab by Brewster, but the feeling is that uh, Brewster may abandon what he learned from McGirt in the gym and revert to the, the head-hunting Brewster, but nice start by the champion. Lehovich, a slow starter. There's the jab by Lehovich, who's most effective at close range. Nice double jab. He's got a pretty good uppercut on the inside, yes, does, does Lehovich. But he has to be mindful of Brewster's powerful hook. Remember, eight of Brewster's last nine wins by knockout. So far in this match, Lehovich has used the jab a little more effectively. He keeps throwing those lead rights to the body. So far, Lehman Brewster has not countered with the left hook over that. Lehovich's trainer, Kenny Weldon, who used to work with Evander Holyfield, among other greats, feels if his man can beat Brewster's hook, they can beat Brewster. Combination by Brewster. Brewster throws what's known as an inside hook, so you don't see it coming, which could be terribly dangerous to Lehovich. Lehovich is not standing in front of Brewster, which is a recipe for disaster. This uh, round has been an interesting one for both men have gotten a few good things done, things they can build on, especially Lehovich. I think. Final seconds of the opening round scheduled for 12 for the WBO heavyweight title. Okay, you're getting it with the right hand because you're jabbing to the body and you're pulling out. Okay. When you jab to the body, don't pull out. Just stay low and move your head. That's all you got to do. Okay. okay? Now keep jabbing the body. Don't worry about the head. Okay. You only do one right hand. Give me some more. I didn't feel like I was in range. Okay. Well, speaking of that right hand, he threw one, but it landed. They want that right hand a lot. He throws the jab to the chest, and then the right hand comes from Lehman Brewster. And you see, there's a little combination punching after that. Lehman Brewster, when he lands a big punch, he will get other combos in. Now, Lahovich throws the right hand downstairs, and Brewster tries to counter him with the hook. And it's dangerous for Lahovich to do that. In that case, Brewster missed Pull with the hook. Okay, let's stay, stay alert. Lehman Brewster says his left hand makes his right hand jealous. <laughs> he comes up with some winners. <laughs> yeah, he's a very, he's, he's a fascinating young man. He really is. But you made that interesting point on the keys. Lahovich does often lead with the right to the body, making him susceptible to the left hook, which is Brewster's money punch. It, it didn't quite. Uh, come to fruition in that first round, but stay tuned. The Hobbits has a pretty good left hook, too, which is not a European trait. Europeans mostly use the, the jab on the right hand. But the Hobbits has really become Americanized, and uh, I'll say one thing, Brewster has had good success against these Eastern European fighters. Boy, has he ever in his last four uh, title matches. He's won all of them, although as we aptly pointed out, he's had trouble early in fights. Now there was the right to the body by Lahovich. Brewster tried to counter with the hook and just missed. He will get it there, though, before this fight is over. Nice overhand right by Lehman Brewster to the head of Lahovich. Both are brave. Both can take a shot. Both can punch. The difference could be who goes after it and who waits. So far in this fight, Lahovich is making one important mistake. He's not fighting tall. He's leaning into Lehman Brewster, giving him a better opportunity to land the straight rights and those left hooks. Nice right hand. Counter shot by Lahovich. This fight has a chance to be a very interesting one, and already the, the punch output, I think, for heavyweights in this first two rounds is pretty good. Well, both clearly looked the part, but can either one really capture the public's interest and imagination? Think about Brewster, while many are still not sold on him, he does make for exciting fights because he's vulnerable. And he has rallied to knock people out. But too often, oh, big right hand by Lehman Brewster to the head of Lahovich. 
That one had some purpose on it and evil intent. Bohovic has a good chin, though. Uh, other than the Harris fight, which he was stopped, he's taken some big punches and managed to persevere. So we'll see how uh, Brewster, of course, is uh, a very powerful heavyweight, as was pointed out. Too often, uh, Brewster waits for the fight to fall in his lap, but he's, he, he looks to be going trying to take it here. Both men are performing well. Left hook by Lohovic that scored to the to the net. You know, we say it's dangerous for Lohovic to throw the left hook because it'll be countered by the left by Brewster, but so far he's throwing that punch, landing it, and not getting countered by Brewster. We approach the final 10 seconds of the second round. Some pretty interesting give and take here over the first two rounds. Brewster missing with the right hand. Good duck under move defensively by Lahovich. Now Brewster digs to the body at the bell. your left hand up now he's trying he's, he gave you about three different you gave it to him about three different times now and he'll still around with one punch like that okay keep your left hand up your jab is working good keep working your jab well Lehman's Brewster's right hand has been dusted off out of mothballs and he lands it again against Sergei Lahovich. McGirt and Brewster promised us we'd see this punch more, um, and we have. Now, there's that right to the body, gets away with it, and throws the left hook. Two things that Lahovich shouldn't get away with doing in this fight, but he did. Why? Because Lehman Brewster was passive. Good left hook there by Sergei Lahovich, 22 and 1 with 14 knockouts. His lone blemish came in 0 2, a ninth round knockout to Maurice Harris. Fully recovered from a torn cartilage in his chest that forced him to withdraw. Nice combination to the head by Lahovich. Withdraw from a fight with Owen Beck in September 05. You know, Lahovich got very good sparring from Robert Hawkins, who is very, I think, a good fighter to simulate uh, Brewster's style. Hawkins just had a fight with Sam Peter in which he went the distance with him and looked pretty good even in losing. Lehman Brewster, 33 and 2 with 29 knockouts. As Lahovic right, right, goes to right. the body. Uh, he cannot resist leading with that right. I've never seen a fight. He's done it in this fight already about 12 times. I've never seen a fighter use that punch as much as Lahovic. Lahovic warned there about a kidney punch by the referee Ernest Sharif. Right there again, we saw the right to the body. This time, Brewster tried to land the left hook, and it didn't get there. The hand speed of Lahovich, I think, is more impressive than Brewster thought it would be. They're throwing home run shots. Steve. Both winging. The crowd is into it. A borderline shot there by Lahovich. In some ways, this match now starting to take on the tenor of other Lehman Booster Championship fights. Him having some issues early in fights against these tall fighters who throw combinations against him. Oh, big left hook to the head, to the chin by Lahovich. That really caught Brewster. He was coming right in. So far, the headline of this fight is the hand speed of Lahovich. He's quick. And another left hook that scored by Lahovich. That one blocked by Brewster. Lahovich better not get too enamored with the hook, though, because if you continue to trade left hooks with a fighter like Brewster, it will cost you ultimately. This is uh, similar to the Luan Krasnitsky yep. fight for Brewster. Very much Where so. he was being outboxed for a good portion. He was behind on the scorecards when he came back to to stop Krasnitsky in the night. Of course, it was the same scenario against Vladimir Klitschko. And he came back to win by knockout. So these rounds, we should throw the caveat uh, out that you can't 
expect this to be dominated the whole fight like this. Yeah, we set the stage for that. We said he can be that way. All right. Soft warning. Don't do it again. Another warning from the referee, Ernest Sharif. The lovely Irina Lahovich, the wife of Sergey. She has to like what she's seeing thus far. Well, Lehovich has been able to look at he throws her right to the body and then a left hook to the head. We've seen that combination from him a number of times. He shouldn't be able to get away with that against Brewster, but he is primarily because he's throwing these combinations so quickly. See, Brewster tried to counter with the left hook, he just couldn't get it there. Until he does, you keep pumping him with that jab and you get off combinations. Quick and gone. Get out of there. Get out. Let's go. Come on. Raise up. You gotta I can't get out if you're standing here, man. While Lahovich looked a, a little out of shape in his last fight with Dominic Gwynn, he did surprise a lot of people by effectively moving off his combination, showed good footwork for a big man. He is pretty nimble for a large man, and he's showing good speed with his hands here against Brewster, as Al pointed out. Now, Buddy McGirt told us the key for Brewster is be doing something. You know, if you're not going to be attacking and throwing punches, at least be moving your head. Don't languish on the outside. He's not done that during every moment of this fight. He's had uh, his moments of just being stationary and the outside is paid for. McGirt, a two-time world champion, he calls it a rhythm. He wants Brewster to get into a rhythm. First double jab Brewster has thrown in this fight, and look at what it did for him. It was excellent. And Lehovich comes back with a, a double left hook. Lehovich stuffing the jab. Lehovich looking very impressive. In terms of technique, and he showed a lot of this against Dominic Wynn, he is a fairly polished fighter. But well, he's certainly a step up from Krasnich. Brewster's last opponent, which was about seven months ago. And that fight was wildly exciting. Not seen in the United States at all. Televised. But it was a, a wild fight. Brewster continues uh, his inconsistency. Well, he can be crowd-pleasing, busy all action, and sometimes slow and deliberate. Nice left hand by Lahovich. I cannot believe Lahovich is getting away with those right hands to the body. He threw another one, and it wasn't as quick, and Brewster didn't even try to counter him. But we should say it just could be a matter of time before yep. Brewster gets the wake-up call, as we've seen so often, and uh, starts wailing away. History would tell us it's going to happen. We'll see. Hard body shot by Lahovich. Brewster does get hit a lot. And we, you made the point, this is the heaviest Brewster has been uh, in, his he in his championship match, the second heaviest of his career at 232. Is he ready to right, fight right, over the long right. haul? Back, we'll see. And the Hovich uh, looks much better physically than he did his last fight, which was a long time ago. 16 months back. Much tighter around the midsection. Obviously quicker, faster. Brewster is just not as active as they would like him to be. I'm sure Buddy McGirt will talk to him about that as these rounds go on. And Lahovic making him miss wildly. And again, hitting nothing but air. Then listen to me. Keep the pressure on them. Those hooks that you're throwing, throw those hooks to the body. Don't worry about the head. Okay. Throw them to the body. Okay. Okay, the right hands are landing good. Okay? But shoot those hooks to the body. All right, don't worry about his head. You're shooting a nice right hand, bring the right hand, left hook back downstairs. Okay. But well, this is what we got to do. You got to start backing him up now. Back him up with More that double one, jab. More than one. Okay? okay? No more push. When Brewster uses a double jab, as he did here early in the round, it's so effective, but he went away from that for almost the entire rest of the round. 
And at the end of the round, Lahovic landing a good short left hook. Brewster did try to counter him. He just couldn't get it there. Hand speed of Lahovic better than Brewster expected. Maybe better than a lot of people expected, Steve. No question about it. Lahovic outboxing, outworking the champion, Lehman Brewster, trying to lift the WBO heavyweight title from the Indianapolis born fighter. You heard Buddy McGirt's words to Lehman Brewster. Go after him. Brewster happy to be fighting in Ohio. He's from Indiana. And he uh, knew Michael Dokes very well. Of course, was in that great title fight in uh, Rick, 1983. Rick, Come on. And uh, he has a real, Lehman is a very interesting man in any case. He has a sense of history about boxing in the Midwest. And he wants to give a great performance here tonight. So far, it's not quite what he would like. Yep. He knows that this is the home of uh, Dokes, Buster Douglas, Tim Austin, Ohio. Watch the feet, watch the feet, watch the feet. Take a look at press row, uh, Al, and it's all a uh, hold -up. And uh, I agree, I'm at 39-37 for Lahovich. Gary Eswick from the Akron Beacon Journal, Joe Maxey, the Cleveland Plain Dealer, George Phillips, BoxingScene.com. Round five scheduled for 12 for the WBO heavyweight title, and uh, thus far, the man in green and red from Belarus originally, Sergei Lahovich, uh, has impressed. And again, Brewster being very passive and giving away these early rounds as he has in other fights like the fight against Krasnichi and against Klitschko. Early on in the career of Brewster, uh, he lost to people like Charles Schubert and Clifford Etienne, and that, that raised suspicion right there about him. A couple of the reasons the jury's still out on Lehman. Big left took a moment ago. Now Brewster is throwing punches with conviction. Huge right hand to the top of Lahovich's head, and he turns up the heat. And he gets this crowd going. There's a left hook to the head that staggered Lahovich. Now he takes to the body. Upstairs to the left hook, a right hand. He's trying to end it here. Oh, what a vicious left hook to the head. But Lahovich has a great chin and a lot of heart. And Lahovich landed well off the ropes. Lahovich has the warrior mentality, but these are bombs by Brewster. Big right hand to the head by Brewster. A left hook to the head. So some confusion here in Cleveland. Listen to me. Damn, what are you doing, ref? Come on. Gee, what are you doing? Hey, put your hands in your lap. Next time I see you on the ropes like that, I swear I'll throw the stool at you. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Hey, you got good feet. This guy's dog tired. Stay in the middle of the ring and keep... Lahovich hit with several good shots. The short right hand and a little left hook, and he is reeling. And then Brewster would chase him down to the ropes where he would really get some work done. This is where he was first hurt in the round. And that left hook off the side of his head may have also affected the equilibrium of Lahovich. And once Lahovich was against the ropes, he took phenomenal punishment from Lehman Brewster, but then was able to fight his way off the ropes and had Brewster in trouble, landing some very, very big shots, creating the situation at the end of the round with all that confusion and Ernie Sharif inexplicably jumping in even before the bell. Ernie Sharif out of Pittsburgh getting an earful from Kenny Weldon, the trainer of Lahovich, and then Lahovich got an earful from Kenny Weldon. Stay off the ropes. Well, the gist of it. We said it could be a shootout, and it's turning into that very early. What a slugfest. Buddy McGirt to Brewster. you got to go to the body. Here's Lahovich over the top. He doesn't care what 
McGirt told Brewster. If there's any question about Lohovich's chin, it was answered in that last round. He was hit with some monster shots in his comeback. Wow, good right to the body. That stunned. Another one Brewster. by Lohovich. Digging shots by Lohovich. Well, this is why Brewster may not be the best in the heavyweight division, but he's certainly one of the most exciting. Oh, a right hand to the head, straight right by Lohovich. That got Brewster's attention. Brewster wide open. Now a right hand over the top by Brewster. To the body goes Brewster. Back comes Lohovich for the right-left combination. The right really scored. Furious pace for big men. Non-stop action since the fifth round. And what we're seeing is not just exciting, it's skillful. Their technique is superb here. here. Overhand right that connected by Brewster. Didn't follow it up. Combination, left hook to the head. Three punch combination by Lahovic. Amazing give and take here in round six. Back comes Lahovic after Brewster missed. Lahovic lines Brewster up in his own corner. Brewster's in trouble. Lahovic trying to smother him with left hooks. Steps back and then he comes forward again with shots to the head. Can Brewster battle his way out of the corner? Now he's lifted up by Lahovic. Now there's blood coming from the nose of Lehman Brewster. I think the body shots of Lahovic are having a massive effect on Brewster. And there was another one, Al. Now he goes upstairs. Beautiful combination to the head by Lahovic that rocks Brewster. Brewster bouncing off the ropes. Incredible action. Now what's holding Brewster up? Brewster's been down only one time in his career. But he's in difficulty here. Lahovic is trying to end it in the sixth. 17 seconds left in the round. A bloody Lehman Brewster. Showing a lot of resolve. Oh, a big right hand by Brewster. And a left hook by Brewster. Unbelievable. Listen, when he's getting those combinations off. Lahovic unloaded this excellent uppercut on the inside. And I think that was a punch that had a big impact and started some of the troubles for Lehman Brewster. And later on in the round, Lahovic throwing fantastic combinations. It's the hand speed that, in addition to the power, that has given Lehman Brewster a lot of trouble. The only thing that Lahovic did wrong in that round was toward the end he out he punched himself out and Brewster came back and hurt him. Well now we've got an exciting competitive heavyweight championship fight. Round seven. Those last ten seconds of that round, very important ones. Did, how much did he hurt Lahovic? We'll see how Lahovic responds here in the, this round. Now Brewster stuffing the jab. So does Lahovic. Both expending a lot of energy the last two rounds. Now it could start to be a test of conditioning and endurance from this point on. Lahovic with a right cross. Look at that subtle movement by Lahovic. That's helping him. He's giving Brewster just enough lateral movement to make it hard for him to land punches. Welling beginning to develop under the left eye of Lehman Brewster. Now both more measuring. Right hand by Brewster missing. Watch your shoulder. Watch your shoulder. Right hand to the body by Lohovic, and those punches have to be taking effect. Countering right hand by Lehman Brewster. 
Foster to the chin. Press row scoring. It's all Lahovich. Right hand clip. Lahovich. Brewster now takes to the body. Big right hand there. That missed. A surge by Brewster missing with the right. But Brewster turning it up. You can never count Lehman Brewster out of a fight. You just can't. The Brewster corner says keep it up, keep it up. With about a minute to go, left hook to the head, to the temple by Brewster. But back comes Lahovich with a digging shot to the body. And that stunned Brewster. Lahovich with an uppercut on the inside. That's been effective for him. Right hand left missing, another right hand missing, another left hand missing by Brewster. Lahovich showing that he can be elusive defensively, comes back with a pulling left. Lahovich is tired right now though, and he is in a dangerous situation, even with all the good work he's done. Can Brewster take yep. advantage, nails him with the right and a left hand. Seconds left in the seventh. Let's see how Lahovich responds here. He's down. The accumulative effect put him down to a knee. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can't be eight. saved by the bell. Are you okay? In any round, Lahovich just needed a breather. Okay. Stand up, get up for a second. Get up. Sergey, listen to me, man. Why won't you listen to me? Why won't you listen to me? This is for the championship of the world. And you know what? You ain't listening to me. Get out there and box. This guy. At the end of round six, after he'd had Brewster in all kinds of trouble, he, uh, he punched himself out, and for the first time in this fight was, I think, truly hurt, even though he'd been uh, stunned in earlier rounds. And this was where I think Brewster set the stage for at least having a chance in this last round to come back. Then in round seven, after Lohovic had had a very good start, the Brewster right hand, something they wanted more of, and boy, it worked, and it got Lohovic into trouble, and more important than anything, that body work, and that helped wear Lohovic down and send him ultimately to the canvas. What an astonishing fight this is. How many ebbs and flows can there be in a boxing match? Very dramatic stuff here as we head into round eight. Only the second time Lahovich down in his career. It just happened around seven from a flurry of body shots by Brewster. Body shots, combination punches, and Lahovich just needed to get away from him. He was being suffocated right, right, right. by Brewster. Step back clean, step back clean. So he took a knee. Let's see how Brewster follows it up here in the eighth. It's scheduled for 12, the WBO. Heavyweight crown on the line. This would be a good round for Lahovich to set a sh very slow pace and hope that Brewster follows along, but he's not doing it. Brewster's attacking. The overhand right start of the series. Lahovich with an answer, but not much power behind those punches. For the first time in this fight, when you hit on it, Steve, Lahovich is pushing his punches. That hasn't happened to this point. Yeah, there's not a lot on it right now, and I think just a lot of steam has been taken out of him by the last few rounds of pounding he's taken by Brewster. And all in rounds in which Lahovich could easily have won those rounds, if not for a few twists and turns. Oh, great body shot by Lahovich. And Lahovich comes back upstairs, partially blocked by Brewster, but Brewster's got that tremendous chin, and he comes back with a right hand over the top. Lahovich is languishing on the inside too much. He's giving Brewster a better chance to hit those left hooks and uppercuts. And a smacking right hand to the head by Lahovich, who has no quit in him. Big miss by Brewster trying to end matters on one punch, and he can do that. Here comes Lahovich again, started by an uppercut on the inside, which has been uh, successful for him and intelligently throwing it from close range, not from too far out, which could be very dangerous as far as a countering shot. Ask Buster Douglas versus Evander Holyfield. Now, how that last round is scored will be interesting. I scored the one-point round for Bruce, but we went the knockdown because Lohovich had dominated so much of the rest of the round. 
Believe it or not, there is the possibility we'll go to the decision. Yes, <laughs> possible. Heaven forbid, though, Al. <laughs> Should I say it? Starts with a D. Oh, good. Ends at a W. Well, we got a ways to go before yeah. that, but uh, this fight is a close fight. Make no mistake about that. Good round for the most part for Lahovic. He's been busy. Brewster missing and then finally oh. nailed him with a left cup. Gutsy Lahovic though hanging in there. There's the bell to end round eight. you all night long to get your left hand up you okay. ain't got it up yet okay. get your hands up and start boxing and this guy is dead okay. do you understand me He's telling you the truth baby you gotta listen to him think speed don't even think power you'll bust him up with You're speed come on keep your hands up come on let's need that it's taking juice out of you let's go like this mouthpiece please okay look here baby double jabs keep backing them up keep that head moving Okay? Uppercuts on the inside. Excuse me. Stop loading up. Sergey Lahovich picked up a bad American trait of carrying his left hand too low. And Kenny Weldon in his face telling him, keep the left hand up. That's as good corner work as you can possibly have from Kenny Weldon. Boy, is he highly regarded work with uh, Holyfield, as we mentioned, Pernell Whitaker, Meldrick Taylor. The pride of Kalina Park, Texas. But his guy's not listening to him. I mean, he needs to get separation from Brewster, use the jab, just a little lateral movement. Kenny Weldon is saying exactly the right thing to him. And Buddy McGirt in the other corner told Lehman Brewster, uppercuts on the inside. But they just don't want Mahovic trading and they, with McG Brewster. Yeah, McGirt also wants to move to the right to get away from... Uh, and a body shot. There it is. There it is. <laughs> On cue. How many of those has he landed? I, I would have sworn if he throws all those, he's going to get countered with a big left hook. It hasn't happened. It's tightening up according to press row. George uh, Phillips has it even. That's unofficial. George from BoxingScene.com. I've got it even at 76-76 because we don't know how the judges are looking at it. Lahovich now is giving himself a little more distance. And when you do that against Lehman Brewster, sometimes Brewster Steve just doesn't come and get you. And he's not doing it right now to Lahovich. Well, he does um, have a reputation at times of being a little lazy. Over the top, then the oh, left hook, in and trouble. Brewster's in difficulty. Lahovich with a breakthrough. Big action here for Lahovich. Can he finish Brewster off in round nine? He's got to be careful. That's too many points. For Lovich. He needs to measure this. Can Brewster survive this onslaught by Lahovich? Brewster's been down only once. Lahovich is smothering his punches. He needs to step back and not throw so many. And He'll the barrage out. by Lahovich. Oh, big right hand over the top by Lahovich. To the body by Lahovich. Missed with the uppercut. A left hook down to the head by Brewster. And what's holding Brewster up besides the ropes? It's his big heart. Bloody nose, bloody left. Brewster hangs tough. Lahovic firing bombs to the body. Brewster just standing there. He nails him with a straight right. Now Brewster hoping Lahovic punched himself out. Now Lahovic looks tired. Yep, you bet she is. Too many punches, he smothered them, and he didn't take advantage of this opportunity. Should have been on the outside, just pecking away. Ten seconds left in the ninth round. Did Lahovic let Brewster off the hook? Brewster missing with the right. Lahovic back with a combination. Oh, brother. Brewster can barely make it back to the corner. Well, catch out. Talk to me. Come on. He's good. 
good, baby, it's good. Well, Lehman Brewster got hit with a right hand, and I'll tell you what, that affected his equilibrium where it landed, and that's part of the reason why he couldn't stand, just was wobbling all over. And then Lahovich did land some very good punches here. However, when he had Brewster against the ropes, all this shoe shine activity, too much for Lahovich. Yes, he won the round. Yes, he won it dramatically, but he put himself in harm's way to get nailed later. Should have been measuring his punches and staying on the outside. But he won a big, big, big round. And will Brewster be able to recover with this minute rest? Sergei Lahovich was down in the seventh round, showing a initiative in the ninth as we hit double figures. Against Cali Meehan, Lehman Brewster came back to win the last three rounds in that fight to pull a victory out when it looked like he was going to lose. That fight, though, not fought at this pace, that's for sure. Lahovich's corner keeps telling him, stop trying for the knockout. Round 10 scheduled for 12. Tremendous action here in this heavyweight battle in Cleveland. It may seem strange for Kenny Weldon to be telling Lovich don't go for a knockout when obviously he can hurt Brewster so much, but it's almost impossible to knock Lehman Brewster out. So what you need to do is win rounds by hurting him, but not punch yourself out and put yourself in harm's way where you'll get knocked out, because that's what Lehman Brewster does to you. Brewster's two losses by decision. He's been down only once against Vladimir Klitschko, round four court on the temple. He wasn't hurt, and he came back to win in that dramatic comeback round five. Here's Lohovich again to the head with a combination. Lohovich sticking the jab, shotgun jab. This is a tactical round for Lohovich. Nice overhand right by Brewster that nailed him. Yeah, Lehman Brewster needs to be aggressive here. He really does. Let's see if he's got uh, his energy back after taking quite a beating in the last round. I mean, Lehman Brewster is just the toughest guy you will ever see. And Lohovich has shown us plenty of toughness here as well. No question. Both have to be extremely fatigued. In this round, Lohovich has gone back to using the jab, and that's been a key for him to perform so well here in round 10. Will this be the one time Lehman Brewster can't pull it out? We'll see. Brewster's won his last nine, eight by KO. Lohovich, who hasn't fought in 16 months, so this is impressive just for that. Yeah. They said he was ready to go 20 rounds. Well, guess what? He's showing fantastic stamina and winning this 10th round in impressive fashion and winning it the right way, the way Kenny Weldon wants him to win. Yeah, he's boxing. Not going for the knockout, sticking the jab, a triple jab there by Lohovich, then a right hand to the body. That has been very effective all night long. When you hear that whistle, get out of the ring. I didn't hear it. I can't hear it. Listen to me. You got a second wind yet? Take a deep breath. Come on. Great. Take a deep breath. Come on. And listen to me, Sergey. This fight is won with a jab. You understand? Hey, uh, every chance you get, you can hit him with something else, but don't stand up. Yeah, okay. Keep using your jab. If you throw that wide right to the body and he starts taking it away, stop throwing that. Okay. You understand? I understand. Look, and when you get close, get your speed off. You're not, I mean, you're killing. Yeah, yeah. You're busting him all Here up. Here you go. Drink this water. Drink this. Drink that, baby. Drink this. Okay. Here you go, champ. Yeah. Yeah, let's suck it up, baby. Let's fight suck it up, champ. Fight! Get on that fight, champ! Fight! Al, you were all over it in terms of strategy. Uh, we heard fight. what Kenny Weldon had to say. Well, he knows that right to the body is a danger, although they've gotten away with it all night, but he cautioned uh, his fighter 
if you think that's dangerous, don't throw that punch. And if he takes it away, go back to the jab. I mean, Kenny Weldon's done a tremendous job in that corner. He really has. Championship rounds, round 11. And what has uh, developed into a fantastic bout. You know, there's a lot of talk about basketball these days. Sergey Lahovic is now almost like a team that just wants to run clock. Both men have only had one fight over 12 rounds. They both won them. And as I pointed out, Brewster had to come back to win the fight against Mir. So both uh, inexperienced in this uh, arena. And there's a nice shot, a left hook that stuns the champion, Lahovic, connecting. This time he took a step back. Lahovic is doing this the right way. Much step more back measured. Step back, clean. step back clean. And he's not just trying to pummel Brewster. Let's see what ensues from here. Nice jab, a double. Left hand stuffed by Lahovic. Frustrating Brewster. Now body shot. Far. Tough body shot by Lahovic. That really has to be taken a lot out of Brewster. Unofficially press row. Lahovic with two out of the three taking charge. Joe Maxey from the Cleveland Plain Dealer has it even. I have Lahovic winning by two points in this fight. And certainly in round 11 thus far, you would think he's winning this round. Though things can change as we've noted very quickly in this fight. Approaching the final minute of the 11th round. A good round for the challenger, Lahovic. One key thing is that in the last several rounds, we real, last two especially, we have not seen Lehman Brewster throw punches with a lot of conviction, and really not too many punches, period. Beautiful. Doubling up on the jab by uh, Lahovic, and he's doing exactly what Kenny Weldon told him to do while Bruce is trying to end it on one punch. Nice right hand by Brewster. Lahovic is putting himself a little bit in harm's way there. And Lehman still has power in both hands as we have seen tonight oh there's that straight right hand that got Lahovich's attention and he holds on big right hand by Lehman Brewster and that slowed Lahovich in his tracks we approach 10 seconds left in the 11th and Brewster trying to turn the round around But back comes Lahovich with a left-right combination upstairs. Did Lahovich do enough to take it? Give me, give me, give me, give me. Put your hand over the bucket. Put your hand over the bucket. Go. Okay, champ. Last round. You have to back him up, and you got to stay low. Don't take no unnecessary shots. I'm not gonna let you do that. You understand me? Yep. You gotta listen. Don't pull out. Okay, don't load up, but let your hands go. You're loading up with too many bombs. Okay? Last, Last round, round, touch him up. up. Okay. Make sure you step when you jab. Right. You'll bust him up. Hey, hey, Last don't round, go out there. Don't get in a fight this round. Okay, okay. He's got to knock you out to win. Okay, just win the round, baby. Okay, he, come he on. Get a jab, son. Let's go. Let's go. Let me out. Dramatic, entertaining, competitive, heavyweight championship bout. They're all standing here in Cleveland, Ohio. In celebration of these two warriors. Here we go, the 12th and final round for the WBO Heavyweight Championship. Oh, a right hand to the head by Lahovich. Remember the last words of Kenny Weldon, don't get in the fight, he told Lahovich. But Brewster may force him to get exactly. in the fight. And you heard Kenny Weldon say to Lahovich, Brewster needs a knockout to win the fight. You know, the advice Buddy McGirt gave, get low and go inside. Well, that's what Brewster should have been doing, really, for all of this fight. Left hook clipped. Lahovic on the top of the head. Not that much damage there. One knockdown of the fight. Lahovic down at a body shot in round seven. Down for the second time in his pro career. Now, Lahovic is moving in this round, but he's not throwing the jab as much as they would like. And they want him to step in with the jab, which he's not doing. 
Brewster in trouble a few times, but refusing to taste the canvas. Oh, Brewster trying to end matters on one punch. They both missed right hands. That Mahovich was in uh, danger there if that right hand landed. Halfway through the 12th and final round. Now, I have Brewster behind by three points in this fight, so I agree with Kenny Weldon, but of course there are the judges and their official scorecard to be considered. Straight right hand by Lehman Brewster pushed the Hobbits back, but he doesn't go that very far. He gets right back into it. A close round 12 so far. There's that pretty jab by Lehovich. The probing, range-finding jab by Lehovich, just keeping it in the, the face of, of Brewster, keeping him off balance, keeping him out of his rhythm. Nice body shot by Brewster, but Lehovich says, all right, bring it on. Showing a lot of uh, macho here. Final seconds of the 12th and final round. A very confident challenger, Sergey Lohovitz, thinks he has put this one in his pocket. And he has done well here in round number 12. And the left eye bothering Brewster. Lohovitz outworking, outboxing, outskilling the champion Lehman Brewster. The 15 heavyweight, seconds to go. The heavyweight division may be further shaken up in 10 seconds. Yeah, it's but further muddle it if Lehovitz wins. But boy, it was muddled in an exciting fashion, wasn't it? It certainly was. There's the bell to end a terrific fight. Lehovitz's yeah. wife. Champion of the world! Sarga. Sarga. So, what do you think at home? This guy's a Christian too, Brewster. God bless you, man. God bless you. I feel it. I feel it right Hey, 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 man. Come on. Look at you, man. Well, Lehman Brewster's left eye, as you can see, uh, damaged, uh, swelling underneath it, blood from the right nostril, all the punishment handed out by the challenger, Sergei Lahovich. Brewster raising his arms in the triumph, but you got to wonder, you've got him uh, losing on the cards. I have it 116-112 for Lahovich. Here's Lehovich uh, being congratulated by Buddy McGirt, who's his trainer. Jacob Stitch Duran there, Richie Giacchetti. Some, uh, Better, I told you be champion. <laughs> familiar faces, you heard Giacchetti. Saying to Sergey, I told you he'd be champion. He may be right. New chump, new chump, New chump, there we go. Yes, my man. That's somebody better get through here. Important rounds during the course of this fight. In round seven, Sergei Lahovich would find himself in trouble and ultimately go down. And this is a key round because would it be scored a two-point round or just a one-point round for Brewster because Lahovich dominated so much of the rest of the round. This was where he Lahovich was in serious trouble. He had looked a little bit tired just before this, and then Brewster unleashed a torrent of punches that would end up sending him down. However, Mahovich was far from done. They would get up from this, not go down again in this fight. And in round nine, Mahovich would come back and hurt Lehman Brewster and get him in the kind of trouble that almost looked like it would end this fight in behalf of Mahovich. After nine round, not after this ninth round, Brewster was never the same in the fight, and in fact would never really mount the kind of serious charge he had before that. And in my mind, the last four rounds belong to Lahovich. And Lehman Brewster showing us the astonishing will and heart that he has in standing up to this onslaught from Lahovich. But 
I don't think it was enough for him to win this fight. And you see the punching of Lahovich. He he went at Brewster, and one of the keys here is the combination punching was so extraordinary. Well, no matter what happens, a very proud moment for Sergey Lahovich, Kenny Weldon, Richie G. Ketty, Sergey Lahovich, all confident that. Uh, this is going to go their way, and they're going to be the new heavyweight champion. Let's get it up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr., for the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Dana DiPaolo scores about 115 to 113. Judge Tom Miller sees about 115 to 112. And Phil Rogers scores about 117 to 110. All three in favor of the winner and new WBO heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey. A moment of pride indeed for Sergei Lahovich, who says he not only fights for himself and his family, but for his homeland, Belarus. So the heavyweight picture continues to get more confusing. Another upset in 2006 here on uh, Showtime Championship Box. But let's say this, that young man is 29 years old. Except for Sam Peter, he's the youngest of the top 20 contenders in the heavyweight division, the youngest of the champions. And from what we saw tonight, he's got something to build on. Hand speed, good technique, power, and great chin. I should say though, Al, although given Brewster's history and track record, not a complete and utter shock that Lahovich won this fight. No, he was an underdog, but certainly not out of it. So we had uh, Zab Judah losing to Carlos Baldemir. O'Neill Bell's win over Jean-Marc Mormec. Joe Calzaghi's unexpected lopsided win over Jeff Lacey. Caught a lot of folks off guard. Sergey Lahovich rated number 13 by the WBO, lifting the title from Lehman Brewster in his first world title shot. Lahovich coming off a 16-month layoff to unseat Brewster. He goes to 23 and 1, his seventh straight win. Brewster falls to 33 and 3, his first loss since 2000. The end of a nine-fight win streak and nearly a two-year championship reign. So Sergey Lahovich reaches a boxer's dream, wins a heavyweight uh, title. A reminder coming up after post-fight interviews, our 20th anniversary celebration continues as we'll present our nominees for the best of Showtime's KO artists. This is the first installment of our viewer poll to select what you thought were the best performances and most memorable moments during the series' 20-year history. Right now, let's go up to the ring and Karen Bryan. Karen? Layman Brewster, Sergey. First, I want to talk to you about this. You said you came to America with a hundred dollars in your pocket in the hope of becoming a champion. It happened tonight. How are you feeling? I feel great. First of all, you know, like, I borrowed the hundred dollars. Oh, you borrowed the hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. So I just feel great. You know, it's Laman. It's a great champ. You know, he hit. Damn, it's hit real hard, and I feel it right now. But you know, today it's my day, and it's, you know, I do my best. And I won. You did win. Now, Layman, you said before that you were coming in this fight, you're going to be liquid, you're going to be fluid. You were, but, but what happened? How do you think it was that Sergey was able to take it away from you tonight? Hey, you know, like I say, God will be done. He won, and, uh, you know, we got a rematch. That's all like I can say. You know, he, he fought a good fight. I take my hat off to you. He's a good fighter, you know, and uh, there's people like him and myself that deserve to be at the top because uh, we show a lot of skill and heart. And, uh, you know, We'll come back and do it again. Now, absolutely. Skill and heart is something that we're looking for in the heavyweight division. A lot of people are looking for a true leader. Would you take him on as a, as a rematch? Because tonight, I got to tell you, this is one of the most exciting fights I've seen in a very long time. Are you looking to take Lehman on again in a rematch? Absolutely. You know, like I appreciate Lamont. I appreciate, you know, Dan, you know, who, you know, these guys, you know, gave me opportunity to fight for this, you know, like for world title. This is, you know, my chance in my life. And this is, you know, just great opportunity. I appreciate it. And, Thank you everybody who support me and it's just great. I give him, absolutely I give him very much. 
much. Now, Don, I want to get you in on this really quickly because we talk about how muddled the heavyweight division has been. We've got a new champ tonight. What do you make of the big picture? I think it's a great opportunity. Both of these guys are great champions. Now it's Sergey's uh, time, it's, it's, and he's doing a great job. They all got to fight each other to be, get one undisputed championship, and, but they all defect as they go along and do different things, to go out the other way. Their mind gets messed up with a whole lot of you know, people whispering in their ears. Put that aside. They got to fight each other no matter how it comes out, and you can't find a better way to fight because this man will fight anybody, any place, anytime, anywhere. You know what I mean? But the people that's out here, this kid here deserves an opportunity. I gave it to him, and he came through with flying colors tonight. And I'm just happy that he did it in my hometown so they show that nobody is trying to do anything skullduggery. The man's the best man tonight. Very nice. Well, Layman Brewster, I want to congratulate you. It was a heck of a fight tonight. And, of course, Sergey, the new champion, congratulations to you as well. And, Steve, i got to say, I know it was a free preview, but I would have paid a heck of a lot of money to see this fight. Back to you. <laughs> got to agree with you, yeah. Karen. I think Al does as well. It really was an outstanding uh, heavyweight championship fight here in Cleveland. Let's check uh, the scoring once again uh, for Brewster versus Lahovich. First, the official judges' scorecards. Dana DePaulo had it 115-113 for Lahovich. Tom Miller saw it 115-112 for Sergey. And uh, the unanimous decision completed by Phil Rogers. He had it with the biggest disparity, 117-1.